Yahtzee! That's the sound of you watching the hottest show on the airwaves, the Daily 5 and 10 show, America's favorite five-ish minute essay update in all of San Ramon. I'm your host, Zeke Samoy. And I'm Jasmine Tran. Today is Thursday, April 20th. We have a very special employee spotlight lined up today. Returning for his second time on the Spotlight Hot Seat. It's one of our amazing insurance analyst managers, Kyle Coverdale. And today is also International Pizza Cake Day, which is perfect considering... Considering I love pizza? Pizza cake. But no, it's also it's because it's also my birthday. Oh, that too. Are, are you sure it is? Considering, you know, how you are with like dates and stuff. I'm sure. Please don't do this again to me, Jasmine. I know what you're doing. Last year, you forgot to remember my birthday. This year, I will not let it happen. I can't let it happen. Not again. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. I, I can. I have a driver's license. I can show you. With oh, my... but before we can begin the birthday celebrations, we first must let everyone know what's going on in the SLA. We have a birthday to celebrate. Happy birthday to my co-host, Zeke Samoy. Yahoo! Happy birthday. Me? Also, thank you, Jasmine. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for being a great co-host and a great friend. Of course. I'm very glad you didn't forget again. Just like we didn't forget that it's also George Takai's birthday. Thank you for your service, Mr. Takai, for your service on both the USS Enterprise and off. An actor, author, and activist, everyone here at the Daily Five at Ten wishes you a very, 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 very happy birthday. Everyone. You're right. I do. Live long and prosper. Prosper. <laughs> And speaking of prosperous, it's time to get to know our Employee Spotlight on a deeper level. This was our conversation with Kyle for this week's Employee Spotlight. <music> Kyle is a Walnut Creek native, loves hiking, camping, reading, and board games, and has been with the SLA for over six years. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Kyle Coverdale. Kyle, welcome back. Hey, it's good to be back. Glad to have you. So, as this is Kyle's second employee spotlight, we're going to be asking Kyle the three new main questions. They are, if you can collaborate with anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? What are you motivated to learn this upcoming year? And what are you knowledge able about that is not work related? How does that sound, Kyle? Sounds easy. Oh, what a pro. And speaking of pro, we haven't given you your own official Daily 5 and 10 mug. Ooh, the famous Daily 5 at 10 chalice. Yes, the chalice, Absolutely. exactly how we like to think about it. All right, so let's hop into our first question, Kyle. If you could collaborate with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? I'd have to say it'd probably be J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm a big fan of his works. I'd love to sit down with Grandpa and listen to his stories, you know, maybe next to a nice fire in a hobbit hole, um, just to kind of hear everything he has to say about Arda. It's not really a collaboration so much as story time, but Absolutely. that's what I would choose. Yeah. Do you know anyone else in the office who's a really big uh, Tolkien fan, or would you say you're... I, maybe the biggest here, maybe, mm -hmm. but I know other people like it here, so mm -hmm. I, I'm not too sure. I'd have, you know, you guys could tell me after the show. We can have a, a debate. A Tolkien off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would, would there be one question you want to know from, or just be a conversation? Oh, it would just be a straight up conversation. Mm -hmm. Nothing specific. It's just like there's so, there's so, like yeah. created a whole world. He wrote, like, you know, all the, he actually created all the languages. Like, you can speak it. I, I can't, but. Oh, yeah. Wow. How many, how many books are in this series? Uh, well, in, in Lord of the Rings proper, there's three, and then there's The Hobbit, and then there's all the expanded works like the Silmarillion, the Lays of Belerand, all, all that. So it's like a bunch of extra. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Well, technically, it's more than three because he originally wrote them into, like, you know, sections, mm -hmm. and then the uh, the publishing company made him combine them into three. So I think it was originally supposed to be six. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So um, what are you motivated to learn this upcoming year? Well, I would like to learn how to surf in the ocean. I just moved to Ocean Beach. Um, so I have a little bit of experience with surfing. I grew up wakeboarding and surfing behind boats, um, but I don't know how to quite get up without the pull string on the boat. So I'm gonna have to learn how to get up on a surfboard in the ocean. So pretty excited for that. Oh, Ocean Beach in San Francisco. Yeah. Any new food spots that you've tried recently that you like? I just tried Burma Superstar out there. Um, really, really good food. Definitely recommend it, but uh, it costs a little bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. San Francisco. <laughs> yes, that is classic San Francisco. All right, final question for you, Kyle. What are you knowledgeable about, aside from Tolkien, and um, is not work-related? I'm very interested in uh, decentralized architecture. So, you know, anything that's, uh, you know, pretty much autonomous that you could interact with with no central authority. I like reading up on the architecture of that. Uh, however, I don't really code or anything like that, so I couldn't I couldn't create one or contribute to one. I just find them very interesting. Okay. And for uh, fans of the show that might not, you know, know what a <laughs> decentralized system is, it, c it wouldn't be Jasmine or I. Could you like, if they were to ask you theoretically, 
what would you, how would you answer them? Uh, I mean, basically it's, you know, everyone's, no one has a central power to do anything. Uh, you can interact with each other on it. Um, blockchains are typically used for this. It's kind of the purest form that humans have been able to create yet. Um, a good example would be Bitcoin. No one has complete control over Bitcoin, at least on the network. You can argue that someone can hold a lot of Bitcoin and influence the price, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. They can't take anything from wa your wallet, you know, without you sending it to them willingly. Okay. So the closest thing we get to a decentralized system could involve humans, essentially. Well, I mean, if you're talking about like the closest thing you can get to like out of blockchain, be like a rep maybe a republic mm -hmm. or like a democracy, right? But then, then certain people are going to get political influence over each other and like, you know, power will shift. It won't be completely decentralized. But that, that's probably the original idea of those systems, you mm -hmm. know, without a, you know, a king or a dictator or something like that. Mm. A folly of man. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we are out of time for today's segment. But Kyle, thank you so much again for coming back on the show. We really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Anytime. We appreciate it so much that we're going to give you another $50 Visa gift card stand-in. Woohoo! I win Monopoly. Yes. Yes. A total of $50. Yes. <laughs> All right, Kyle, thank you so much again. Um, maybe a third time coming soon? Right. Next time, yeah. All right. Awesome. You heard it here. All Thanks right. Thanks again, Kyle. That. So much fun. Kyle, what a great guy. Sure is. We need to schedule more things with him on the show more often. I know, but it's kind of tricky because I heard he's he's performing Coachella weekend too, so. Oh, I guess we'll see. But until then, let's finish off today's episode with everyone's favorite segment, The Daily Gift Away. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. What's today's national day? It's International Pizza Cake Day, and today's winner will be receiving a $25 gift card to Safeway to make their very own pizza cake. Jasmine, what on earth is a pizza cake? Well, the original pizza cake was created in Canada in 2014 and featured seven heavenly pizza layers to form a 5,000 calorie cake. Heavenly layers. Wow, is that the case? Is there frosting on the cake? Uh, unless you call frosting cheese and pepperoni. I only do that when I'm really, really sad. So today's winner is Sandia Dital. Congratulations. Into the pizza cake jar you go. Please don't forget to email us at 5 and 10 at slaco.com to claim your prize. Or if you have any comments or questions about the show. And with that, I'd just like to say happy birthday once again to George Takai, actor, author, activist, and beloved USS Enterprise helmsman. Z, that's all. That's me. Awesome. Well, I'd also like to thank Kyle again for stopping by. But until next time, Slayers, you stay excellent. I'm Zeke. And I'm Jasmine. Thank you, and catch you later, Slayers. Are you sad that I forgot your birthday again? No. Forget it. Again. You know what they say. History repeats. Thyself. <laughs>